Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Mother and Refuge of the End Times, an article found on Spirit Daily. Forums, the amazing visions of Kawa Felipe about the end times, for cautious discernment. March 2, 2024, from the Forums of the Virgin Mary. He had visions from the age of four and years later died in the aroma of holiness. Have you ever heard the story of a boy who could see the future? a child who was transported to the Holy Land at night, that at the age of four he had visions of Moses and Jesus, and that at the age of seven he warned about the end of times, a child who lived with St. Michael the Archangel and was prepared for battle. In the heart of Santa Catarina, Brazil, a family lived a story that defies human logic. Here, we will present you the story that has recently come to light about Calla Felipe, who lived his life with only half his heart and died in 2020. We will tell you his visions about the end of times and the final battle between good and evil. Are you ready to learn one of the most impressive stories of heaven speaking to us in our time? While Luis Galazio was giving a lecture on Father Oliveira's visions, a lady contacted him to tell him the story she had heard about her own son, the boy, was Calla Felipe. Calla Felipe was born in Santa Carina on February 2, 2007, and died on May 16, 2020, at the age of 13. A month and a half after he was born, they discovered a heart problem. It was as if he lived with half a heart. But 15 days before the diagnosis, his mother had had a dream. She saw him on the hospital stretcher, and she was praying on her knees to Our Lady of Aparecida to save him. When the diagnosis came, she remembered the dream and the promise that if the child survived, she would take him to the sanctuary. The doctor said he was in no condition to survive and that it was miraculous that he was alive at that moment. Throughout the boy's life, he underwent several risky heart surgeries, but he led the life of a practically normal child. He only ran out of breath from time to time, but he played sports normally. The doctors always said, this case is very impressive. It is a miracle. At four or five years old, still not knowing how to read, Kaya began to tell only to his mother about a baby found in the river, Moses. She knew little about Christianity at the time and thought her son was only telling made-up stories, but later she changed her mind. When I fall asleep, I wake up there in the world of Moses, said Kaya, and when he went to sleep he used to say, I'm going to the world of Moses. Let us remember that Moses is an important figure for Judaism and for the Catholic Church, which considers him a saint and a prefiguration of Christ. Moses spoke with Yahweh face to face and gave him the table of the law, or the Ten Commandments. Kaya said that this Moses grew up and had a staff that transformed into a snake and faced a pharaoh. He said that pharaoh was a very, very bad He said that on one occasion, Moses needed to hit a stone with his staff to make water come out. He also spoke of how Moses saved his people and told of the manna in the desert. At another time, the boy spoke of a river that turned the color of blood, which is the first of the ten plagues of Egypt, according to the book of Exodus. He said that in the world of Moses, there were many children, and that no one wore normal clothes like pants and a t-shirt. Moses taught him all the stories, and whenever they did any surgical procedure, he said that Moses was on one side and Jesus was on the other next to him. He said that Moses and Jesus were similar. He told his mother about Jesus' suffering when he carried the cross, and he once told them, When Jesus fell, he looked at me. I was there inside of a building watching. He drew Jesus on the cross with two guards at his side with spears and some clouds and lightning falling. And he taught her that she needed to recognize Jesus in people, that sometimes Jesus could be in a baby, a child, an adult, an elderly person. And this was all said before the child learned to read. At the age of seven, he began to talk about the end of times. He said that the end of times is near, and when it arrives, nothing will matter anymore, only what we have in our hearts. He told them about the final battle between good and evil, that God was gathering his people, his army, but that God's enemy was also gathering his own. 
and that whoever did not follow God, who did not prepare and did not understand, would become a slave to evil. But he told his mother that she should not be afraid because good will win and that everything she needed to know was already in the Bible. He pointed out that at some point the earth was going to turn all red like a battle scene. And from the Lord, he allegedly heard for the first time what the three days of darkness would be like. He told his mother that he will fight alongside St. Michael the Archangel to defend a shining place. The boy grabbed the image of St. Michael and said, It is with him, Mom, that we are going to fight to defend a portal. Evil cannot enter that portal. Given all of this, his mother began to worry that the devil was speaking to the child. She went to the deacon of the church to ask for help, and the deacon calmed her down. The boy also made prophecies. One time they were waiting to do a procedure, and a mother in the waiting room told them that her son was inside. The mother did not say if the son was a baby or not, but suddenly, Kaoyu looked at his mother and said, The baby is going to die, which is what happened. Two months before he died, his mother saw him in bed praying, and he said, Mom, I am praying and asking God for more time with you. And he asked them to prepare a place in his room where he could have all the saints, each one illuminated. Kaya died in May of 2020, and during the first month of his death, he appeared daily to his six-year-old brother's dreams to play with him. After about a month, the little brother said, Mom, today, Kaya was different. He appeared with white hair, golden waist-length clothing, and from the waist down, he was bright red. He was wearing a chain where there were photos of people's faces, and we were also in those photos. And a little time later, a cousin he hadn't seen in a long time came to the family's house. Caillou had met that cousin, but not the little brother. Then Caillou's little brother said, They are also in the photo of Caillou's chain. These stories and many others that his mother has about Caillou were broadcast for the first time by Lucas Galazio in January of 2023. But even so, many people come to the family's home to ask, for a photo of the child due to the reputation for holiness he acquired during his lifetime. Well, here is what we wanted to tell you about the impressive visions that were given to the boy, Caillou Felipe, and the end of times and other supernatural themes. And I would like to ask you who you think Caillou Felipe was and what mission he had come to fulfill on earth. Thank you for your support. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Please stay for prayers and devotions. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel, powerful. Father Richard Hellman, November 18, 2016. This St. Michael's Prayer is the original version as written by Pope Leo XIII. It was originally published in the Roman Recorder of July 23, 1898, and a supplement approved July 31, 1902. Original Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. O glorious angel St. Michael, Prince of the Heavenly Host, be our defense in the terrible warfare which we carry on against principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness and spirits of evil. Come to the aid of man, whom God created immortal, made in his own image and likeness, and redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. Fight this day the battle of the Lord, together with the holy angels, as already thou hast fought the leader of the proud angels, Lucifer, and his apostle at host, who were powerless to resist thee, nor was there place for them any longer in heaven, that cruel, that ancient serpent, who is called the devil or Satan, who seduces the whole world, was cast into the abyss with his angels. Behold, this prime evil enemy and slayer of men has taken courage. Transformed into an angel of light, he wanders about with all the multitude of wicked spirits, invading the earth in order to blot out the name of God and of his Christ, to seize upon, slay and cast into eternal perdition souls destined for the crown of eternal glory. This wicked dragon pours out as most impure flood the venom of his malice on men, his depraved mind, 
corrupt heart, his spirit of lying, impiety, blasphemy, his pestential breath of impurity and of every vice and in iniquity. These most crafty enemies have filled and inebriated with gall and bitterness the church, the spouse of the Immaculate Lamb, and have laid impious hands on her most sacred possessions. In the holy place itself, where has been set up the sea of the most holy Peter and the chair of truth for the light of the world, they have raised the throne of their abominable impiety with the iniquitous design that when the pastor has been struck, the sheep may be scattered. Arise then, O invincible prince, bring help against the attacks of the lost spirits to the people of God, and give them the victory. They venerate thee as their protector and patron. In thee, holy church, glories as her defence against the malicious power of hell. To thee has God entrusted the souls of men to be established in heavenly beautitude. O pray to the God of peace, that he may put Satan under our feet so far conquered that he may no longer be able to hold men in captivity and harm the church. Offer our prayers in the sight of the Most High, so that they may quickly conciliate the mercies of the Lord, and beating down the dragon, the ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, do thou again make him captive in the abyss, that he may no longer seduce the nations. Amen. Behold the cross of the Lord, be scattered hostile powers. The lion of the tribe of Judah has conquered the root of David. Let thy mercies be upon us, O Lord, as we have hoped in thee. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. Let us pray. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we call upon thy holy name, and we humbly implore thy clemency that by the intercession of Mary, ever-Virgin Immaculate and our Mother, and of the glorious Archangel, Saint Michael, thou wouldest deign to help us against Satan and all other unclean spirits who wander about the world for the injury of the human race and the ruin of souls. Amen. Pope Leo XIII, 1888. Recolta 1933, Partial Indulgence. Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Eternal Father, you are the only immortal God, God who is love, merciful, and kind. Look at your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and have mercy. I offer you the pains of his scourging at the pillar, his wounds and blood for all your people, who are living under the weight of the curse due to the sins of their ancestors, and their disobedience for breaking the covenant. They made with you. May you set us free through the scourging of your Son. Heal us through his wounds and save us through his precious blood. Amen. Precious blood of Jesus Christ, release us from curses. Holy wounds of Jesus Christ, heal our wounds. By your scourging, heal us. Amen. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. 
Save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. Save us in the whole world. Voices born of Jesus Christ. Save us in the whole world. Voices born of Jesus Christ. Most voices born of Jesus Christ. Save us in the whole world. Most voices born of Jesus Christ. Save us. The Most Holy Rosary is one of the greatest prayers in the history of the Church. Garnished as it is with the testimony of saints and popes for the last thousand years, the only prayers that could be said to be greater are those of the Mass and the Divine Office, yet many still seek ways to enter into the deeper mansions of spiritual richness to be found in this devotion. To assist with this process, Mother and Refuge of the End Times has compiled revelations and meditations from some of the most notable and popular Catholic mystics and saints. These mystics were gifted with first-hand revelations by means of visions and apparitions of the life of our Lord Jesus and His Holy Mother. We have selected some writings from these remarkable revelations to assist in the meditation of each of the 20 mysteries of the Holy Rosary. The main mystic meditations featured are St. Padre Pio, Blessed Anne Catherine Emmerich, Servant of God, Don Delindo Rotolo, Servant of God Luisa Picaretta, Maria Valtorta, and others. In addition, this unique rosary prayer book contains both the Latin and English prayers of the rosary. It has been originally illustrated by our own Catholic religious illustrator with over 23 inspiring illustrations that will surely lift your hearts in prayer and in fervor. This is a rosary prayer book that will surely be a classic. As always, we thank you all for your continued support of our prayer book ministry and our channel. May God bless you and keep you, and may the Immaculate Heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.